Ever wondered what happens when a solar eclipse meets rocket science? Well, it's not a riddle, but a real event that's about to unfold. On April 8th, NASA will be launching not one, not two, but three sounding rockets from its Wallops Flight Facility in Virginia. And the timing couldn't be more spectacular. These rockets will ascend into the shadow of a total solar eclipse, the last one to grace North American skies until 2044. These rockets aren't just hitching a ride into the dark for the thrill of it. They have a serious scientific mission. They're set to study disturbances in the ionosphere caused by the eclipse. That's the part of Earth's atmosphere that's ionized by solar and cosmic radiation. This mission aims to gather valuable scientific data that will help us understand more about our own planet and its relationship with our closest star, the Sun. The solar eclipse itself is going to be quite a show. It's expected to be even more spectacular than its 2017 predecessor, with a longer duration of totality and a potential for increased solar activity. The path of the eclipse will span from Mexico to northeastern Canada, making it accessible to a larger population. So, whether you're at the NASA Wallops Flight Facility Visitor Center or comfortably at home, you're in for a celestial treat. But this year won't just be remembered for the eclipse and rocket launch. 2024 is shaping up to be a big year for the sun. After a 2023 filled with intense solar activity, NASA predicts the heliophysics big year to be even more eventful. There will be heightened northern and southern lights activity, and in December, NASA's solar probe will approach the sun's surface, providing crucial data for understanding solar wind and the corona. So as the rockets ascend and the moon eclipses the sun, remember you're witnessing a moment of scientific history. This is not just an eclipse, but a mission of discovery that may shed light on the mysteries of our sun and its effects on our planet. The significance of this event goes far beyond the spectacle. It's about expanding our knowledge, and who knows what revelations the darkness will bring. As we eagerly anticipate the eclipse and the launch, let's remember the words of Carl Sagan, science is a way of thinking much more than it is a body of knowledge. And on April 8th, we'll be thinking a lot.